So today we're going to teach Eleanor how to snorkel. That would be me, first time. She's never snorkeled never before. Done it. Uh, so we're going to take that opportunity to check out a tugboat that's out there. It's sitting on about 20 feet of water, so we can free dive and snorkel around it. And it's going to be fun. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Curacao has plenty of good scuba and free diving sites. And the tugboat is a perfect, easy to get to spot for snorkeling. How was it? That was fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm so glad I went snorkeling. <laughs> I was pretty scared and I have never done it and I didn't know what to expect that there was a lot of fish. So I'm very, very glad I had this opportunity. Yes. Yahoo! After spending a week with us, the day had come to say goodbye to Dan's mom. One thing's for sure, she was leaving with a lot less stuff and some good memories. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. Bye. I love you. Goodbye. This pretty little black box is our new motor controller. It's one of the things that my mom brought down for us in the mail and I'm pretty excited to install it because it's programmable. Unlike our old motor controller, which was a lot more basic and was only running half of our motor and the other half was like directly connected to our batteries, so it wasn't very efficient. And the other really cool thing about this controller is that it will hopefully allow us to get some regen. So when the prop is spinning in the water while we're sailing, um, hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of power back into our battery bank as well. I have this nice little connector where I can connect all of the forward reverse switch and the throttle control and all that is the fancy programmer that goes to with it and it'll show me like all the parameters everything is programmable it'll have graphs of its power consumption and regen and everything it's a pretty cool piece of technology and I'm pretty excited to get it set up and hopefully it works Well, I've got all of the wires removed from the old um, electric motor controller and all of the other bits and pieces that went along with it, all of the uh, shunts and contactors and everything else. So it's all cleaned up back here. And now I'm going to install the new motor controller. Hallelujah. <laughs> um, it's a lot easier to wire this one because a lot of the things that I had to sort of make up and bypass and um, figure out how to DIY this one kind of takes care of it all so it's gonna be a lot easier to install I'm still gonna put a cooling plate on the back of it I'm not sure I need to but I may as well I also removed the old engine gauge cluster since we won't be needing it anymore. The only controls we need now is the throttle and forward reverse switch. After choosing the perfect spot for the switch, I made a mold and cast the switch holder out of thickened epoxy.
I'm using uh, some hot melt glue to seal the whole mechanism up since it's going to be outside. The switch is technically waterproof, but these connections in the back, not so much. So I'm filling them full of hot melt glue to seal them, and then if I ever need to take them apart again, I can just heat them up and pull the glue off. Good morning guys, today is the day, the day that we have all been waiting for, the reason why we have been waiting in Curacao for a month and a half. Today's it. Our friend Alcino is coming on a sailboat right behind me to pick me up and we are about to go pick up an interesting package for Uma. Push the boat! Groovy. Alright, you ready? You ready to go? Oh yeah. Let's do it. After two years of sailing with our temperamental wheel pilot, it was time for a long-awaited upgrade. Our new Cape Horn wind vane had finally arrived, and we couldn't wait to install it. Oh, there we well, go. It's too big to fit in the car. So we've got to downsize. Man, they packed the shit out of it. We just lay all this stuff in the back seat. I think we just have to make sure that uh, no parts get left behind. <laughs> Here it is. Boom. Good morning, everyone. I have got our new wind vane from Cape Horn laid out beside me here. Uh, it's very simple, um, but it takes kind of a complicated problem and turns it into a beautifully crafted piece of hardware. The most nerve wracking part of that is going to be drilling a two and a half inch hole in the back of the transom. So let's get started. Oh, and I've got the lazarette completely cleared out too. Look at that. There's nothing. <laughs> well, there's a big hole in the back of the boat now. That's how thick our transom is. Okay, so the theory is, you rotate this whole top piece into the wind, and that motion of it swinging back and forth relays the message down through here to the servo in the water, and it turns it ever so slightly. And that small amount of rotation pushes that servo out from side to side, kind of like sticking your hand out the window in a car. When you tip your hand up, it goes up. When you push your hand down, it goes down. It's the same theory. It only really works when you're sailing and there's movement through the water, though. So when you're helming the boat, 
and you're on your point of sail and the sails are well trimmed and the servo is vertical in the water and the rudder is about vertical in the water, you reach down here and you pull up tight on the control lines which tighten all the lines back to our quadrant, back to the Cape Horn quadrant. And now, theoretically, if we were sailing, the wind would take over and the Cape Horn would start steering our boat. What are we celebrating, Kika? Today we are celebrating my approval for my Colombian visa. Cheers Ooh. to that. You and I get normal cups up. Yeah, yeah. That's good too. Thank you. I feel like you have more wine than I do. Looks that way, doesn't it? Is it the same amount, really? Cheers! Yay! Cheers! Cheers! This is like a gong. Bing. Bing. <laughs> to Colombia. Colombia. A few days after the visa good news, we went out with some friends for lunch. But our day took an unforeseen turn. Was it a lot of pain in the car? in the lower right part of my abdomen where everyone says that if you get a lot of pain there it could be your appendix or something like that and normally I'm pretty good with pain but it can hurt I've never felt pain like that before um, so we came to the hospital now I'm on some pain drugs so I don't feel it nearly as much but it still hurts quite a bit I can just, I'm not screaming in agony I can't, I, I can't believe how much pain that was I've never felt anything like that before. I'm waiting for the doctor to show up so he can start. They took my blood, they took my urine, and checked my temperature so far. We've been here for like three hours. This After some tests in a few hours of waiting, the doctor came back with the results. Turns out, Dan had a kidney stone. So they gave him some painkillers in medicine, and he will just have to wait it out. So then, how do you feel this morning? Oh, better-ish, better. Yeah. A little bit better. It's yeah, nice you're to able sleep to sleep in air conditioning last night and take a hot shower and drink a lot of cold water. Yeah. Thanks to Arno. Yeah. Thank you so Go. much. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. Back to the boat. <laughs> Hopefully that pain doesn't come back. Yeah. Well, you still have to. Uh... Beat them out, I think, aren't you? Probably. Whatever they are. Little <laughs> miserable, miserable It grains makes of a ice. man out of you. Apparently. <laughs> Real tough man. Men are such You've suffered things. the same pain as women in birth. I mean, apparently. Yeah, I feel, I feel bad for any woman who gives birth. <laughs> apparently. Hey guys, thanks for watching this step. Uh, if you're interested in a more detailed installation video of the Cape Horn, we put together a much more in-depth video about the installation and how we went about doing it. Uh, it helps a lot to follow the instructions very carefully because they're very good. We'll put a link to that video in the info bar and in the description of this video so you can go check it out if you're interested. Also, if you have a wind vane or you sail with a wind vane or sailed with a wind vane, uh, leave a comment below and let us know how you liked it, how it worked out for you, if you have any tips and tricks for balancing sales or anything like that. And come back next Thursday when we find out just how much growth we have underneath our boat. And after giving her a good solid clean, we can finally leave Curacao. But until then, cheers!